What's up everybody? Hey, welcome back to Brandon Lester Fishing. We're gonna do something pretty exciting today. I'm gonna take you guys along. If you hadn't heard yet, if you follow me on social media, you probably saw my post last week. My new title sponsor for the 2022 season is Midway USA. Man, what an awesome company. Uh, I've been familiar with Midway and been buying stuff from them. I've been a customer uh, of theirs for a long time. I actually ordered a bunch of ammo from them uh, back in September. I was getting ready to do some dove hunting and stuff, ordered some ammo from them. But they've recently, in the past couple of years, have gotten involved in the fishing industry. And man, when they got involved in the fishing industry, they got involved. Let me tell you, they got they got a heck of a selection on there. You guys go check them out, MidwayUSA.com. Um, I'll post a link to their website down in the description. But today, what I want to do, I went on a shopping spree on Midway last week, man. I ordered twelve hundred dollars worth of fishing tackle. We'll talk a little bit bit more about why I did that, why I need to do that. Um, but here's the box right here. <laughs> it's a box full of goodies. We're gonna tear into it. And I'm going to take you guys along. I've not even opened it yet. So we're going to see what I bought. Y'all stay tuned. Let's tear this bad boy open. All right, guys. Here she is. 28 pounds worth of dang fishing tackle. Now, everybody's going to ask, why in the world did you, you order $1,200 worth of fishing tackle in this big old box? Every year, new tackle comes out okay uh new things come out and being a professional angler i try to stay on top of all that one of the things that can really give you an edge in your fishing guys is if you can get on a trend of a new bait before it becomes real 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 popular before there are tournaments won on that bait so what i did one day last week i got on midway usa and i said i'm going to order some stuff for this season that i think is going to be the the next big thing uh, I look at my tournament schedule, I look at things I need, and that's what I did right here. So without further ado, we're going to go through this box. I'm going to show you what I ordered, um, and I'm going to tell you why I ordered every bit of it. So here we go. Nice and packaged up. Where are these little air bubble things out of the way? Man, I see some goodies. I mean, right off the bat, I see some goodies in there. What y'all think about all that? I'll tell you what I think. I think the easiest way to do this is just gonna be to dump all that stuff right out there on the, <laughs> on the front deck of the Phoenix so y'all can see it all and we'll just go through it. Well, there it is. There's my big haul. Uh, we're just gonna tear into it and start going through it, guys. I've got, uh, first of all, I needed, I wanted a better way to organize all my terminal tackle. Um, I've got all my Mustad hooks in. I got all my Mustad weights in last week. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna get organized real well as far as, you know, uh, punching weights, uh, you know, Texas rig weights, drop shot weights, all that kind of thing. Um, these are actually more Plano boxes. Uh, I don't have a, a tackle box company that I work with, so I just ordered some that I knew were good, and there they are. Now, another thing you're gonna notice in here. I've got power bait soft plastics. I've got some Strike King soft plastics. There may, there's some Zoom soft plastics in here. I throw a lot of different soft plastics. I do not have a soft plastic company sponsor, um, and that's sort of by design. I've had some opportunities. I've worked with one soft plastic company um, in my whole eight, eight year career on the Elite Series. And, you know, we just were going different directions. It wasn't working out and, um, you know, I'm no longer with that company. So I don't have a soft plastics company sponsor that I work with right now. So what I'm, what I'm using right here is stuff that I actually use and that I needed to restock on. Um, right here we got Strike King Rage Bugs. Probably, as far as creature baits go, uh, flipping and pitching, chatterbait trailer, probably one of the best dang shapes of a saw plastic bait that's ever been made right there. Strike King Rage Bug, I got a whole bunch of them in here. Uh, that's actually a new bait right there. When we talked about 
you know, things that I think um, could be kind of trendy this season. This is one of those things that I think could be trendy and power bait has made these things just about darn near impossible to get into. When I talked about baits that I think may be trendy this year, this is, this is one of the ones that I think may, I'm getting ready to go to Florida. I ordered these for punching mats down in Florida. That's a three inch Berkeley Maxent chigger crawl. You wanna talk about a jig trailer? That right there, boys and girls, is a jig trailer, I promise you. I'm a big believer um, in that Maxent. It's expensive, but it's good stuff. And I have no affiliation with that company. Um, more Maxent chigger crawls, Strike King Menace grub. I love a Strike King Menace. I throw it on the back of a chatterbait. I flip with it, uh, put it on a wobble head. That's a really, really, really good bait. I've got several packs of those in here. These are menaces, menaces and rage bugs. I'm just gonna throw those in there. I already showed you guys those. Uh, as far as colors in the menace and the rage bug, um, I ordered some green pumpkins, some black and blues. In the menace, I ordered, in the menace grub, I actually ordered some white for uh, chatterbait trailers. So I'm gonna get all those out of here and we'll keep going. All right, that's all the menaces and the rage bugs. I think we may come to some more, I don't know. Right here, I've got some um, Powerbait Maxent, the Generals. My buddy, John Cox, is arguably the very best wacky rig fisherman on the planet. He's won more money than anybody else throwing a wacky worm. I can definitely tell you that. And if you follow my career, you know I like to throw a wacky worm as well. Um, if John says a wacky worm works, I promise you it works. And I know for a fact that this is the one he throws because I've stayed with him uh, at several tournaments. So, you know, I, I've become a believer in these. I actually um, finished 12th at the St. John's River last year, mostly on that bait right there. So that's what I bought those for. Got several packs of those in there. Uh, let's see what else. All right, let's see what else we got in here. All right, here's something, you know, when you talk about something new and something exciting, fishing is an ever-changing sport. That's what I, I try to, you know, I try to teach to people. And, and when I say that, the baits that, um, you know, that, that caught fish 20, 30 years ago, will they still catch fish? Yeah, they will. But if you wanna, if you wanna really, really catch them, stay on the up and up as far as new stuff. This bait right here came out, what, five years ago now, the Evergreen Jackhammer, and it absolutely changed the game. There's been so much money won on that bait. Well now, Z-Man has come out with the Chatterbait Mini Max and the Big Blade Chatterbait, all right? Obviously this Mini Max is a little bit finessier version, got a little small blade on it, so I bought a few of those, and then this Big Blade son of a gun. Now that sucker right there, I don't know about y'all, but there's gonna be some money one on that bait right there, I promise you. Cold water, dirty water, I believe that's gonna be a killer. I had to have some, I couldn't help myself. So I've got a few of those in here. Oh, oh, oh. oh this one right here, I hate to even show y'all this one. The Rapala X-Rap Prop. So, I've told you guys, in a couple of videos ago, I, I told you guys about, um, a crankbait that I was working on with a hard bait company. Uh, I'll tell you guys more about that when I can, but until we get those hard baits built up with that company I'm working with, I'm, I'm still gonna have to throw what I have confidence in and I'm gonna have to use what I have, and I always will use what I have confidence in. So this is a Rapala X-Rap prop right here, a couple of different colors. Uh, orange belly is a big deal in Florida. I'm getting ready to go to the St. John's. That's one of my favorite things to throw in Florida. So that's why I bought those. Um, some DT-10s, I was getting low on some colors, the DT-10s, this gizzard shad color, uh, green gizzard shad, that just came out last year, I didn't have any of those. Bought a couple of those. Um, some Kitex. So a really good way, you know, say, let's say you're going through somewhere with a chatterbait and you've caught a few, if you wanna uh, be a little more subtle, you throw this little Kitex on just a weighted mustad, um, 
uh, weighted Mustad Texas rig hook. That's a good way to kind of go back through. It's a lot more subtle. That's what I got in mind for those. I just needed some more. Um, got a few packs of those in here. Let's see what else we got. Here's something new. Here's something that's kind of trendy, I feel like. Rapala Jig and Wrap. Something that, honestly, I've never thrown before in my life, but I know a lot of guys are catching a lot of fish on these right now. This is more of a vertical presentation, cold water. Uh, it's just something I wanted to play around with here around my house, so uh, I definitely bought a couple of these. Here's a couple of more new baits that are really cool that I think you'll see, um, that you'll see some more of this year. Well, actually not that one. It's new to me. That's a little six cent square bill. I've not thrown a whole lot of those. Um, but this one right here is brand new. Strike King, Chick Magnet. I'll admit it, guys. I have a little bit, <laughs> I have a little bit of a problem when it comes to tackle and especially crankbaits. I love different crankbaits. I've seen so many times in my career where you find that right crankbait and it makes all the difference in the world. So uh, always looking for that that best one, you know, and, and I'm gonna try a few of these Strike King Chick Magnets. Um, I bought a couple of different ones and a couple different colors. Got a few more chatterbaits here. Here's something. Here's something that's really been a big deal the past few years, uh, Mega Bass Mag Draft. Um, I bought a few of those. I've not played around with this a whole lot. I'll be honest. I don't throw big swim baits a ton. I, it's just, it's not really my style. Um, I've always been the guy that wants to get five fish in a live well as quickly as possible. And that's, that's not what you do with it. And this is not even really that big of a swim bait. It's a six inch bait. Um, but there's a couple tournaments on the schedule this year where I think it may come into play. So bought a couple of those. Uh, Something else I felt like I needed. Zoom Z Crawl Jr. As far as you know, creature baits go, I feel like this is a really, really good one too. I talked earlier about the Rage Bug. This one is a really, really great bait too. I caught a lot of fish on it last year on tour. Um, really a cool bait. Some more DT10s, more X Wrap props, um, more Mini Max chatter baits. I got a couple of green pumpkin ones. They come in quarter, three eighths, half ounce. Uh, I ordered. I think some of each size, this, this green pumpkin is a quarter. This one is a three eighths. Um, you know, that little quarter ounce, who knows if it's tough conditions, that thing could really, really shine. So pretty excited to throw that sucker. Um, trick worms. You can never have too many trick worms. Gosh, I throw trick worms a lot. I mean, anywhere from a floating worm to on a shaky head to on a dry, uh, weedless drop shot. Uh, Zoom trick worms are about a, as good a trick worm on the market, if you want my opinion. Uh, and green pumpkin blue is, green pumpkin blue or green pumpkin green, well, that's about the only two colors you need. I mean, I'm just telling you the truth about it. Um, let's see. This one, I don't know. Here's the package right here. It came out of the package, but there's a Booyah one knocker. Uh, half ounce. The old Excalibur one knocker was a five eighths. The Booyah one knocker is a half ounce. Uh, still a good bait. Still catches a lot of fish. Um, I've still got some of the original five eighths as well. Really, really good bait there. The rest, pretty much just duplicates. Haha, uh -huh, y'all have seen that one before. Old Demon DT10. There's a bluegill color DT10. That, that works really good in Florida. Um, the rest are pretty much just duplicates. There's a, a gold and black. Booyah one knocker, then that kind of ghost metal kind of color. Um, that's pretty much the only new stuff, you know. I've got some more colors of big blades, um, stocked up on some regular Z Man chatter baits, and I bought. So, probably the biggest key or one of the biggest deals in Florida is having a blue tail on your stick worm. So, I bought some black and blue with a blue tail, just regular power bait stick worms um but that pretty much wraps it up guys i just wanted to show you know i got this big box of tackle in and i was like you know it'd be pretty cool if i just did a tackle dump so you know that's what we did i just wanted to show you guys kind of what i bought all right everybody that's gonna wrap it up for this one hey i hope you guys enjoyed that i just wanted to show you what i bought what i had in this box 
Some of it's newer stuff, some of it's stuff that I just kind of needed to stock back up on. Um, but like I said earlier, you're, try you're always trying to stay ahead of the curve. You're always trying to stay on the up and up with those new baits and those new techniques because that's how you fish for those fish that are not reacting to other baits, that have never seen that bait before. So um, hope you enjoyed that. I appreciate you guys following along. Reach up there and hit that like button. Drop me a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time right here. Brandon Lester Fishing.